Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing very well. As we are on the verge of the Alchemy Validator Network going live, I wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through the process of minting an Alchemy Validator NFT and joining the waitlist. So you can see that I am on the homepage of Alchemy Labs and I'm using a test version of Alchemy Labs for this demo. So you may find a few changes from the version that you're used to and the counts may be a little different from the ones that uh, you will see on the live site. So please bear with me on that one. When the validator waitlist goes live, you will be able to see new features on the validator page. And you can navigate to the validator page by clicking on the button here. And this is the page that you will see. And you will see two counts here. The first one is the number of people on the waitlist. And the second, is the number of validators who are currently on the network. You can also click the link here, which will redirect you to alchemy.org site. And that page will have a lot of information about what validators are and how they add value to the system. Now let's click on connect wallet. This will pop the wallet connection window and you can choose one of the options here to connect your wallet to the site. I'm going to click on MetaMask. And I now have a pop-up which shows me my MetaMask wallet and it prompts me to select a wallet that I can connect to the site. I'm going to select my wallet, which is my primary wallet that is to be connected to the Alchemy Lab site. Now I can see a second MetaMask window pop-up and that prompts me to log into Alchemy Labs using the wallet that I have connected. And since the wallet that I have connected is my primary wallet, I can log into my account by clicking confirm on the pop-up message. And shortly, I will see that I have been logged in to my account on Alchemy Labs. If your primary wallet does not contain your ads collateral, you can click on this button here and then click disconnect, which will merely disconnect the primary wallet but it will not log you out. You can then click connect wallet again to connect the secondary wallet that holds the ad collateral and that will redirect you to this page again. I am now assuming that you have completed your KYC process. If you have not completed your account registration or KYC process, please ensure that you register your account on Alchemy Labs and complete your KYC process. Please note that you will have to be KYC approved in order to join the validator waitlist. You can see two buttons here, become a validator and I already have an NFT. Clicking on the first button will start the process of providing your collateral and minting an NFT. You can click on the second button if you have already minted an NFT and are looking to assign a service type to the NFT. Let us now click on the become a validator button. This will now pop up a window that asks you the number of NFTs to be minted. Please note that this is a test environment which uses the Sepolia testnet. And I have enough test ads to mint 23 NFTs. The maximum number that is displayed here is based on the number of ads tokens you have on your connected wallet. Before we proceed, please click on the terms and conditions and review the terms and conditions. If you have any questions about the terms and conditions, please feel free to contact us either on Discord or on Telegram and we will be happy to answer any of your questions. Once you have read and understood the terms and conditions, click the back button and select the number of NFTs that you wish to mint. Let me select four now. And you can click on this box to confirm that you have read, understood, and agree to the terms and conditions min mentioned here. You're now ready to click the mint now button to click to mint the validator NFTs. This involves two steps. The first step is where you have to set the maximum spending limit and please select the maximum spending limit based on the number of NFTs that you are meeting. Once you have signed the transaction,
to set the maximum gap, you will then be asked to confirm the transfer of the ADGE tokens to the smart contract in order to mint the NFTs. I'm going to click confirm to accept the transaction, to sign the transaction, to transfer the ADGE collateral and mint the NFTs. We'll wait for the transaction to go through. And once that has been done, you can see a confirmation that the NFT has been minted into your wallet. You can close that window and you will then be able to see the validator options page. The validator options page provides you with two options. You can either select a delegated service option or you can select the self-serve option. The delegated ser service option provides you with certain advantages that are mentioned here. The self-serve provides you with certain advantages that are mentioned here. Please read and understand which option you would like to select based on your circumstances. Please note that there is a delegated service fee of $95 per quarter, while the self-serve is dependent on the cloud service provider that you choose. When you have understood and are ready to make a selection, you can click on Assign to NFTs. You can see that I have been doing quite a bit of testing. So I have quite a few NFTs in my wallet, which I have not yet selected the service type for. But the last four NFTs that we minted are numbers 500, 501, 502, and 503. So you can click either delegated or self-serve to select one of the service types for each of these NFTs. If you're not yet ready to make a decision, you can click the back button and then you can navigate away from the page. If you now have made a decision and want to come back and assign the validator types, this is the validator page, but you can always click on the new validator button, which will take you back to this page. And you can now click on the I already have NFT button. This will show you the page where you can assign the service type to your NFTs. You can then make a decision and you can assign the service type for the NFTs that you have just minted. And once you've made a selection, you can click join the waitlist and that will ensure that you have joined the waitlist. You can now see that the new NFTs 500, 501, 502 and 503 are now showing up on your My Validators page and the service type has been selected as the ones that you just selected. If you do want to make a change to the service type that you have selected, and by the way, you can also see the queue number here, which is 57, 58, 59, and 60. And even though I selected some as delegated and some as self-serve, you can actually see that the waitlist numbers are in serial order, which means that irrespective of what service type you select, you are part of the same waitlist. And due to the fact that I'm still on the waitlist, I can still change from the delegated serve to self-serve or vice versa without changing my waitlist number. So if I have to change to self-serve, I can just click on swap plan and ensure that I click swap plan again to, to confirm. And once that has been done, you can see that I have still retained my waitlist number, which is 57, but now the service type has changed from delegated to self-serve. If you want to go back and assign the service type to any other NFT, you can always click on the new validator button and that will take you back to the validator page where you can click, I already have an NFT, read about delegated or self-serve and click on the assign to NFTs to click and select whatever service type you want to each of the other NFTs as well. And click join the waitlist. Once it has added you to the waitlist, you can see that the new NFTs have already joined the waitlist and have been assigned the numbers. Please note here that the NFT ID 
is not dependent on the waitlist number. Merely having an NFT ID which is of a lower number will not put you ahead on the queue. You have to make a decision and select the service type and then join the waitlist. Without joining, without making a selection for the service type, you cannot join the waitlist. So please make sure that you, once you've minted the NFT, you select the service type and join the waitlist. As long as you are on the waitlist, you can always change your mind and click on the swap plan in order to move from the delegated to self-serve or vice versa. If at any point in time you need support, please click on the support button here, which will route you to our Discord channel. And you can always ask for support and ask any questions that you have regarding the minting process or regarding the assignment of service types. If you wish to mint any more NFTs, please feel free to click on the new validator button. And that will take you to the page where you can click on become a validator and mint any more NFTs. Please also note that since I joined the waitlist, the number here has updated. And you can also find the number of validators on the network and the number of validators on the waitlist on the homepage. If you scroll down to the validator section, you will have the number of people on the waitlist and the number of network validators provided for easy reference as well. You can always click on the validator button to come back to the My Validators page. And once stage two opens, which means that you will be able to register your validators and associate your NFTs to your validators, then you will start seeing this section populated with all the registered validators. Once we have approved the NFTs on the waitlist, the queue number will start getting updated. For example, if we approve the first 50 validators on the waitlist, then validators 25 on uh, validators on the waitlist number 25 and 26 will be moved out and the waitlist numbers for the rest of the validators will get updated. I hope that provided a clear introduction to the process of minting a validator NFT and joining the waitlist. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us on Discord or on Telegram, and we will be happy to answer any of your queries. Please do not respond to any DMs or give out any passphrases or transfer any tokens to anybody. We will not ask you to transfer any tokens or ever ask for your seed phrases. So please be aware and please be in control of your tokens. We look forward to you joining the Validator Network once it opens up. Thank you very much for all your love and support. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.